Intello. The smart modulating actuator for industrial burners. Suitable for metal to metal butterfly valves up to DN400. Maximum operating pressure is 150 millibar, used for controlling the flow of combustion air or gas to the industrial burners. The Intello actuator can be easily mounted on the shaft of the damper. The motor is directly connected to the damper shaft. Therefore you don't need any cumbersome linkages or couplings to connect actuator to the damper shaft. The special coupling mechanism easily adapts a square shaft or a round shaft of different sizes. An adjustable mechanical stopper is provided on the Intello actuator, which can be easily adjusted anywhere along the 67 degree travail of the damper, depending on the assembly. The maximum or minimum position can be limited. The SMAT electronic zero and span adjustment feature of Intello automatically adjusts itself with respect to the stopper position. Beside the shaft bore of the Intello actuator, two holes are provided, on which an auxiliary limit switch box carrying two numbers limit switches can be easily mounted. The limit switches can be very easily set, with a standard screwdriver, from the front fascia of the auxiliary switch box. The limit switches provides two SPST changeover contacts, which can be used for indication or alarm or interlock as per requirement of control logic. The Intello motor operates linearly on a 4 to 20 mA DC analog control signal. We have here a 4 to 20 milliamperes analog current source, and a milliameter showing input signal in milliamperes. We also have a digital position indicator, which takes feedback from the motor, and displays the damper opening in percentage. Twenty milliamperes signal is now being fed to the Intello motor manually, through a DC milliamperes current source. Notice the milliamperes reading in the multimeter display, changing from 4 milliamperes to 20 milliamperes. The valve disc moves to 100% open position. Now we reduce the input signal back to 4 mA. And the valve disc goes back to the 0% or close position. Similarly, when we give 12 mA input signal to Intello, the actuator drives the damper to 50% open position that is 45 degrees. Notice the position indicator showing 49.5% as the position feedback which is fairly accurate. The actuator motor takes around 45 seconds to drive from full close to full open position. We will now switch off the power to the 4 to 20 mA current source, to cut off the control signal, and see what happens. 
The control signal is now cut off. Intello drives back the damper to the closed position. You can choose the position at which the damper disc should be when control signal fails through the rotation reversal switch. In case the power supply fails, the spring return mechanism of the actuator automatically drives it to open or close position as you set it. The Intello actuator is provided with a special crank tool to operate the damper manually. In case of power supply or control failure, the damper can be very easily operated without any efforts in the manual mode. What's more? The Intello actuator is also provided with a mechanical lock. The lock can be used during manual operation to keep the damper disc locked in a particular position. After manual operation, the crank tool can be fitted back on the actuator body. The manual lock can be opened manually by resting the lock switch or automatically releases when power supply is restored. No problem. Due to the Allen slot for manual cranking, a standard 4mm Allen key can also be used, used for manual operation. See? So easy. That is what makes the Intello smart and user friendly. Now we carry out a test on Intello motor, which is rated to deliver a torque of 15 Newton meters. The actuator is mounted on a stand, connected to a bracket. On the other side, there is a shaft connected to the motor and to the shaft. We have attached a lever, about 125 mm in length. To this lever, we have connected a rod, to which we can hang the weights. For this we hang six flanges, each weighing around 1.26 kg to the rod. We can see the total weight of flanges in the indicator. We will now run one complete cycle of the actuator to see if it can lift the load. The actuator is comfortably handling the weight of 6 flanges or 7.64 kg. Further in this test we will gradually increase the load by adding more flanges. Intello completes each half cycle in 45 seconds that is total 90 seconds. Now we add two more flanges to check the motor for increased load. Now load is 10.18 kilograms. We will again drive the Intello for one complete cycle. From close to open and open to close with the load of 8 flanges. We will also note the travel time to evaluate the performance of Intello. Here too the half cycle time does not exceed 45 seconds. This means the actuator can handle this weight without getting overloaded. Now we add two more flanges and carry out the test again. The total load on the Intello actuator is now 12.76 kilograms. Yes. The time starts now. Let's see if the cycle is completed in 90 seconds, as before. Bingo. Total 90 seconds it is. Finally we add two more flanges. The total number of flanges now is 12 numbers, and total weight is 15.3 kilograms. The cycle is repeated again. Now with 12 flanges. The Intello continues to lift the weights without any pain. Very comfortably. Just as before. Once again the total cycle is completed in expected 90 seconds. Thus the motor show no signs of overload even with 12 flanges loaded. 
Intel motor torque as per test equals 15.3 kg weight of 12 flanges. Multiplied by 0.125 meters length of lever. This calculates to 1.91 kg meter or 19.1 newton meter as against specified 15 newton meter. So we conclude that the Intello is designed to deliver almost 1.5 times of the specified torque.